Hello everyone, this is Shannon with Adams College of English and today we have a very important video for F1 international students. So as you may have heard or seen, um, there have been a lot of changes right now coming from the immigration office. And we know this is a very difficult time for international students and students across the world. So we wanted to make this video to take care of some of those questions and concerns you might have regarding your visa and your student status. Now, please keep in mind, we're filming this video on July 28th and things have been changing very quickly. So always remember to check the immigration website, your country's immigration consulate, and also with your international student advisor before making any decisions. So now let's get into the video and hopefully we can help you understand this very confusing time. So as you all know, many colleges and English schools have been having classes online since maybe February or March, depends on your school. Now before immigration and SEVP, that's student services, they said this was okay for international students to take online classes. There wasn't a problem. But now, however, they're making some changes. So make sure you listen carefully to these next few sections to find out if it's okay for you to take online classes and what you, should you do as a current student or future international student. Let's start with current F1 and M1 students who arrived in the U.S. before March 2020. You are safe for now. Do not leave the country. Under SEVP's regulations, you can continue studying even if your classes are online. We highly recommend that you do not leave the U.S. at this time because you risk losing your student status or not being able to return. If you're still not sure about your visa, contact your advisor immediately. Now, I cannot speak to other universities' specific policies, but in the eyes of the immigration office, you are still legal. Now, if you arrived in the U.S. after March 9th, contact your international student advisor or even your personal lawyer. Technically, if you have already been studying online before March and your school is in accordance with SEVP regulations, you should be fine. However, it is always safer to check on your status before making a decision. And again, please do not leave the U.S. yet as you will not be allowed back while classes are online. Finally, let's look at future students. If you received an F1 or M1 visa after March 9th but have not entered the United States yet, you will not be able to begin your studies online. Immigration will not accept any students if their school offers online classes only. So in that case, what should you do? Contact your school immediately and ask to delay your start. Also, check your visa. It will have the last day you can enter the country by. Now, if you were accepted by a U.S. school but did not have your visa interview yet, wait. It will be in your best interest to wait until after ICE and CVIS allow new F1 students safely into the country to schedule your visa interview. Currently, Schools should not even allow new F1 students to apply for online classes. These days, it is extremely hard to get an F1 visa, so it's better to just wait to schedule that interview. The final question is, can I still apply to study abroad or take language classes? Yes, I suggest applying now for spring term. Fall term will be online, and winter term is not certain, but it can take many months to get an application for an F1 or M1 visa to be accepted. And even getting an, a visa interview is very tough right now. So apply early now, and then you'll be ready to start your studies later. 
After the United States presidential election in November, many things could change. Online classes, coronavirus, and immigration policies. There's no way to know what schools and the government will even do in the next week. But if it's your goal to study English in America, don't give up yet. Make sure you follow the news and your school's updates. All right, thank you guys for watching. Adams College posts regularly on social media, so make sure to follow our accounts for regular updates on this situation. And also subscribe and leave us some comments and questions below, and we'll definitely try to help you however we can. All right, thanks, and see you guys in the next video.